We keep talking about corporate governance. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so some definitions here, and several of these were referenced in ISACA's SISM manual. So I just want to hit a couple of pieces here. Um, So ethical corporate behavior by the director, so board of directors, or others charged with governance. So by default, that would be your senior officials. Your folks with C's in their job titles can also be called senior managers. So um, in addition to governance, the or in addition to that, distribution of rights and responsibilities among different participants in the corporation. So understanding or having a basis for roles and responsibilities of the board of directors versus managers, who are shareholders, who are stakeholders are, all that's fine. I think the bottom definition, though, is really kind of the most complete. So corporate governance involves a set of relationships between management, and by that I would read senior management, It's board, shareholders, and stakeholders, all right? So the relationship between those upper-level entities that provides the structure through which objectives of the company are set and the means of attaining those are determined. So that's a really good piece here, okay? The structure through which the corporate, the objectives of the company are set. So first of all, how do we even determine what our objectives as an organization are, right? I answer the phones at a healthcare provider. That's not my job, right? That's the job of the board of directors, the senior management of the agency. What is our vision? What are we here to do? Where do we want to be in five years? These are all very long-term ideas, right? So governance says these are our objectives. And even before that, here's how we're going to determine our objectives. But also, notice it doesn't say corporate governance that corporate governance accomplishes the objectives, but corporate governance is going to provide the means and the structure and the support to meet those objectives. Corporate governance is all about framework. It's about supporting structure. It's about setting the tone for what we're building, right? Determining what we want to produce. Broad ideas of where we want to be. When it comes down to the how, to the details, that's going to be management, right? Governance is what, management is how. All right, goals and objectives of the business. So governance determines what our goals are. And the goals of governance provide strategic vision and direction. Anytime you see strategic, think three to five years out. We're thinking long term. Governance is never day-to-day operational goals, right? And honestly, rarely are they even tactical, like, you know, one to three years. Governance is how are we going to get to that next phase? How are we going to be where we want to be in five years out? Okay. Now, they're responsible is for making sure that we achieve our objectives. We know what our goals are. We know what our objectives are. There's that oversight piece are we reaching our objectives? Risks. Are risks integrated into the organization as a whole? Do we have a consistent philosophy and understanding of risk throughout the organization? Do we base decisions on risk management? Is it integrated and holistic? That's the role of governance as well. Is taking us into an enterprise integrated risk management strategy as an organization as a whole. You know, for a long time there were business risks and IT risks. No, IT risks are business risks. And the manner in which we address business risks, we need to also address IT risks, right? So it's this ensuring a holistic approach as an organization and that we're working together. We don't have different frameworks for different departments. We're consistently working as a singular organization and entity with the same priorities, the same goals, the same frameworks. That's the role of governance. And then also making sure that we're using our resources responsibly. 